Hello everyone, hope you guys are having a great week. Today I'm going to do a review on the new Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation with SPF 20. Um, now this is sold at QVC for right now. Sephora does have it on their website, but they're not selling it yet, so I'm not sure when it's going to come out. When it does come out, um, it's going to be $29, and at QVC you can get the foundation and the brush that you're supposed to apply it with for uh, $39, so about $40. Um, so let's just jump right in because I kind of have some things I need to say. Now this says that it is a lightweight um, skincare-like foundation and it's without water, it's formulated without water, oil, silicones, paragrants, or fragrance and it's supposed to be very good for your skin. Um, it's supposed to have a lightweight feel and it's supposed to have a blendable coverage. Now, um, you're supposed to shake it up and you, you can hear it. And put two drops of it in the brush because the brush has a little reservoir. I don't know if you could, yeah, there you go. It has a little reservoir. You're supposed to put two drops in there. And I don't feel like it drops that well. Like, I don't know. It doesn't drop that well. So, but you're supposed to put it in there and it's supposed to hold the product and then buff it on the skin. And two drops, they said. It's supposed to be enough, but for me, two drops was not enough. I, I'm not even someone who, I'm not someone who likes full coverage things, to be honest with you. I like for foundations to let a little bit of my skin show. Um, I have freckles. I like for, like you can see now, I like to show my freckles. Unless I'm going out, like, to a club or something, which that normally never really happens. I don't really like to wear... A lot of foundation and even this to me like on my hand it looks good but on my face two drops was not enough and I needed to apply more now um, they have several colors which I will give them that I'm not gonna name off all the colors because there's too much but I have the color bare beige and they break down the colors like they do the foundation where you're you start with the light category and then you go if you're a cool light a warm light or a neutral light and then medium and then medium deep and then deep um, which I really do appreciate that. This brush to me is nothing really special. It is a synthetic brush, but it kind of feels plasticky. It's not the softest brush that I've used, and it did leave brush marks on my face. Um, I would rather use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, or even the Buffing Brush, or even the um, Sigma F80 to apply this. Um, I know that this hole or this little reservoir is supposed to help catch the product, but to me, I feel like it's kind of gimmicky. Um, as for the wear, if you did the two drops, it would wear like skin, um, but that's because it's so sheer that it, you don't really feel like you're wearing anything, or it looks like you're not even wearing anything, and I guess if that's the look you're going for, then that's fine. Um, if you wanted to build up to even medium coverage, it where it does look like foundation to me it doesn't look like skin and I'm really picky about that um like I said I do like to wear things that look like skin especially if I'm going especially if I'm like it's an everyday thing I don't like to feel like I'm wearing foundation every day I know some people like to wear heavy foundation I'm like I said I'm not that girl um it doesn't feel heavy at all it does feel really nice it does feel very light. It doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation or that your face is gross or melting or anything. And I do live in a desert, so it does get hot out here. Um, the wear time's okay. It's it's typical wear time. Nothing's fancy. I don't. I wouldn't consider this extreme long wearing, but it doesn't, you know, wear fast. Um, it to me, it's just it's not anything special for a foundation and I'm kind of like I really 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 wanted to like this product um, because I do like Bare Minerals and I do use their mineral foundation especially in the summertime um, it's what I use because it to me that provides natural looking good coverage doesn't melt down feels like I am a mineral foundation girl in the summertime um, this to me just doesn't live up to it I to me, the, the the way this wears and the feel is no better than 
say my CoverGirl True Match and my CoverGirl True Match I have to use a lot less to get the desired coverage for me. So um, I'm sure that this does this is better for your skin than the CoverGirl True Match um, because it's made without all the bad ingredients and that it probably does have skincare technology in here but I'm not sure if it's worth it to me. Um, like I said to me, this is just not the greatest foundation. I would just rather go with a drugstore one or even my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I like that a lot better than this one. And this one, um, you do have to powder. You can't just wear it and out the, the, the tube. Um, and with my Urban Decay Naked Skin, I don't really have to powder too much. Um, maybe if you were someone with drier skin, this would work better for you. Um, but I don't think any oily girls are going to like this foundation at all either. Um, but let me know if you guys have tried it. Let me know what you guys think. To me, um, this is, it's a thumbs down, but I think maybe because I just had such high hopes. Maybe if I went in not having any expectations, I would have liked it a little bit more, but this is probably going to go back. Um, but that's it. Sorry if this has been kind of rambling. I'm having one of those days, but I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.